probably the biggest benefit that my students have ever gotten from the ability to blend my instruction is that I am able to meet with my students one-on-one -on -one way more often than I ever was before. The way that I achieve this is that I try to limit any of my control of the classroom to 10 minutes or less every day. There are often times that I need to launch a new concept or I need to help students develop their learning a little bit or, or maybe help to accommodate this learning into a schema they already have. But I try to keep that to 10 minutes or less. And the way that I'm able to do this is that I provide much of my content for my classroom in a virtual environment. The videos of instruction, simple things like how to format an essay, I can make a video of that and I can post it online and then a student has control of play, pause, rewind, and they can go over the things that they need more or less and they have control. The texts that we study in class, I try to post online. I try to read them out loud and post the audio of myself reading the text online for students and I give headphones to all of my students. I buy them with my own money. And I also offer interactive practice on online. You know, students are copying, they're pasting, they're taking screenshots, they're clicking and dragging, they're entering text, all of these things so that I can sit back and I can observe. It makes my role much more of a coach. And my coaching for my students, I've created this thing I call the, the three-part conference. I tell them it's a three-minute conference, but that's a lie because sometimes it takes way longer and sometimes it takes shorter, but it's a three-part conference. Part one, I sit down and I open up the form for the student and I ask the student, will you please explain to me what you're working on, what you're learning, and why you're doing this? And I just listen. Uninterrupted, I let the student speak and I take notes on what the student says. Part two of the conference, I give feedback based on what the student has said to me. Some of my feedback is learning target based. Hey, remember, the learning target for the day is this and your work should be getting you closer to that target. Sometimes it's performance based. Hey, I notice you're not writing in complete sentences. I think that the clarity of your response would improve if you were to start your sentences with a capital, include a subject and predicate, and end with some kind of punctuation. Sometimes it's just process feedback. Hey, you are starting to get ahead of your peers and you're learning this really well. Do you feel like you need some extension from me? Do you feel like this is too easy for you? And all of those conversations happen in part two. Part three, the student and I set a goal based on what they've told me and the feedback that I've given them. I ask, okay, so what goal should we set for you to achieve by the next time we talk? And the student tells me, I would like to complete this assignment and learn how to do that thing. And I say, great, and I take that note down. Sometimes I tell the student, I think one of your goals should be to practice your sentence fluency. Let's see if you can mix you know, some simple and complex sentences, maybe some compound sentences in here. Whatever that goal is, I take a note of that goal and I ask the student, when would you like to see me again? And that student can tell me, shoot, I'm really struggling. I'd like to see you very soon, maybe before the end of class. Or they'll say, you know, I think this is going to take me a couple of class periods to achieve. Let's meet again on Friday. And I say, okay, and I take that note down. So in my classroom, the biggest benefit that we've found from blended teaching is that I can provide control to my students of their learning and they can decide when to pause, play, rewind, and fast forward. They can pull the target and then they can move flexibly from learning goal to learning goal, from resource to resource as they need. They can review concepts, lessons, and instruction that they've received previously on demand. And I can then move around and one-on-one, -on -one, I can speak with these students about the real effect it's having on their learning. Over the last few years, the results from this style of teaching have been astronomical. My students in my classes have achieved things that I never thought possible. I believe that this is because of the blended environment that they're in, giving students control of their learning and then stepping to the side and coaching them through it. Um, I think it's good for every kid. I've seen unbelievable results across at least the last four years in my own students. And, and I think that this is something that's not difficult to do. And we have the power through these digital environments to be able to provide this for every student every single day.